Hello everyone, welcome back. In this course I'm going to show you how you can restore a Joomla website backup in a local host. This backup has been created with Akiba backup component. So let's take a look. You should have those two files before start the restoration process. The localhost hotel archive file contains the GPA file. This is an Akiba backup extension, the GPA. So this actually is a Joomla website backup file. You should find this file in my announcement and download it through the Dropbox link that I gave you. If you still can't find it, I'll upload it in this course too. The next one is the Kickstart Core. This one is the latest version, 4.1.0. In case there is another version, you can download it from the akibabackup.com slash download slash akibakickstart.html Okay, now that we have those two files, we need to make sure that our local host is running. So open up the XAMPP control panel and make sure that Apache and MySQL both are running. We make sure that both are running, so close this. Next one, open the htdocs folder. I have a shortcut in my desktop and I open up this. If you don't have a shortcut in your desktop, it should be under the C slash XAMPP slash htdocs. Okay, now create an empty folder. I'm gonna name this hotel and open this folder. Now we want to extract both of these files in this new folder. Select both of them and extract them on the new folder that we, that we created. Okay, as you see, there are many files here. This one is our backup. You can see it from the size. It's almost 33, 32 megabytes. And the other files are some language files for the Akiba Kickstart component. A student of mine asked, what should I run now? It's a GPA file. It's not an exe. What can I do? Here is the tricky part. Open your browser and on the address you can write localhost slash hotel slash and now we're gonna run the kickstart by writing kickstart.php hit the enter button and this is the way you start the website restoration process close this okay now in this first screen you have only to be careful about this this one the archive file should be the GPA file okay let's start the process now this it should take one or two minutes I'm gonna fast forward this now okay the first step the extracting of the files it's over you should press the run the installer button in this screen you should be careful because if you have any red sign over here saying no it's not going on the next step you should take care of it we see everything is fine the orange is just a warning we don't care everything is fine click the next button on the top right corner in this step we have to do the database restoration so we have to make a connection to database be careful about the server host name it should be localhost in most cases it is localhost and the username should be root if you haven't changed it the password leave it blank 
and you can give a database name here, write whatever you want. If you're not an advanced user, do not change anything else. Leave it as it is and press the next button on the top right corner. If everything is okay, you'll see this database restoration progress bar. If there's a problem, the system will tell you there's a problem, check it out. Okay, now we see the database restoration was complete. Next step. The next and final step is some parameters, like the site name, Royal Prince, it's okay. Okay, okay, everything's fine. Now you have just to write the super user password. I'm gonna write here admin, admin, repeat, okay, and click next. Now that we have finished our restoration process, we should click on the remove the installation directory. Ready to start. Okay, let's visit the front end. That's it. As you can see, we just restored the website. It's the website that I created through this course. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to ask me. I'm gonna help you until you restore the website on your own. I hope you enjoyed it. See you on another course. Thank you.